Welcome back to another Professional Picks college basketball video. We went over all our general news in our Texas Tech versus Kansas video that we just recently uploaded. So we're going to jump right into this one. We got number 18, Tennessee, at number 21, LSU. LSU just did beat Kentucky last night by five. So I have LSU as a three-and-a-half point favorite, three points for um, just being the home team, and then I think half a point for just overall team ratings. Ken Palm has LSU at number 12 and Tennessee at 14. So he has these teams rated a little bit better than their AP poll ranking. They're two great defensive teams, the number one and number two teams in defensive ratings in the whole country, actually. You have – LSU at number one with giving up about 82 points per 100 possessions per game. And then Tennessee at number two, giving up about 88 points per 100 possessions per game. So LSU has a pretty comfortable margin as the number one defensive team in the country here. I think LSU does have a higher rated offense, though, by about 40 spots. I think they have a lot more options on the offensive end. That's why I have their team strength rated as depth. They have Kennedy Chandler and John Fulkerson coming back from COVID tonight, so they should be good on Saturday as well. But they only lost to Alabama on the road by five, which I thought was a great showing, especially without your starting point guard and center. And then LSU did look really good against Kentucky, though. Xavier Wheeler was injured in the fifth minute of the game. So he was pretty much a non-factor and he was averaging about seven assists and 10 points per game. I think if he stayed in, the, the game would have ended a little bit differently, especially because Kentucky had the lead throughout the majority of the game and fell apart at the end. LSU, great defensive team, only held Kentucky to 60 points. I think that trend is going to continue. I'm just pretty um, questioning of their scoring. Tari Eason came out of nowhere. He's their leading scorer. He's been coming off the bench, but still playing starter-like minutes. He's been a stud. He's pretty much deserves all the praise for this team's success, especially with Adam Miller being injured before the season even started. Everybody was down on this team. It's still hard for me to believe in them, but coming off a big win against Kentucky, I think the just Vegas and the line adjusters are going to start giving this team some more respect. They also have Xavier Pinson, who's just a firecracker. You don't know what to expect from him. He'll shoot a lot, high volume player. So he's going to score, but he could go off or play very poorly. And then Darius Days shoots a lot of threes, but also rebounds well in the post. Just a very interesting dynamic on the offensive end. But they win on the defensive end. So does this Tennessee team. It's going to be a great game. It's going to be close and also should be low scoring. So I really like Tennessee plus the points here. I think it'll come down to a last couple of possessions. But I think Tennessee is just much better on the offensive end. They're going to shoot the three-pointer better with just guys like Justin Powell, Victor Bailey, Santiago Vescovi, Kennedy Chandler. The list goes on. You got Fulkerson back in the lineup now. And then uh, Brandon Huntley Hatfield developing as a freshman. I think just the overall depth and solidifying these rotations is going to start to show as overall season fatigue for other teams starts to kick in. I really like Tennessee on the road. I hate that I like Tennessee on the road because in these big ranked matchups, the home team has been winning a lot. But I'm just going to stick with my assessment here and take Tennessee on the road, just like I took Kansas on the road. As long as this spread somewhat reflects this. More confident in the Kansas pick, I will mention. But if you're watching this game or just like any insight, Tennessee is my lean. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And then just one quick shout out to our partnership, Prize Picks. It's a daily betting fantasy app or fantasy wagering. So basically how it works is uh, you bet on or you make entries on player props, 
They have a thing called the flex play. You get one of your legs wrong, they'll still give you some of your money back. And then there's the power play, which is essentially your traditional parlay. And this app is legal in betting illegal states like Texas, California, and Florida. So you guys should definitely go give it a look if you're trying to find more ways to place wagers on college sports or really anything and you're just having a hard time finding a way to do so. They let you bet on things like players' fantasy score. And they've even had a lot more promos coming out recently just as they've gained popularity through other betting uh, accounts on Twitter and YouTube. But once again, our promo code is PROPIX. They'll match your first deposit of up to $100 using our code. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, rooting for that Tennessee win and cover hopefully on Saturday. Please stay tuned for our next video. We should have one more preview coming out.